tuned in to. Today we are rejoicing in rigatoni, basking in bucatini, praising penne, because it's our Pasta Palooza show, and nobody knows pasta like an Italian grandmother. But what if you had an army of Italian grandmothers, perhaps an entire restaurant staffed by grandmothers, all on a mission to feed you handmade pasta? Well, we found a restaurant where granny always rules, and we sent our chew correspondent, Yvette Rios, to get the full story. Take a look at this. serve pasta like grandma used to make because grandma is still making it. Edo Teca Maria is a place where every night a different grandmother comes and cooks the regional cuisine from her town. These ladies bring their memories of growing up with their mothers and their grandmothers. It's generation after generation of knowledge that passes out through their hands in the kitchen every day. A lot of them will come out of the kitchen, interact with their customers. It's always a customer wants to take them home. It's so good to see you. My name is Christina. I grew up in Lombardy. I did not take a Maria. I cook just like at home. I'm Rosette from Veneto. So I feel like I'm cooking for my family. And that's what the customers become, my family. My name is Joanna from Sicily. The fact that the people love your food, it's very rewarding. The Nora is in charge for the day. I never told my grandmother what to make, and I'm not telling them. A lot of the ladies will make their own pasta, and they all have their own secrets. I always add a little extra virgin olive oil. It gives it a little more flavor, and it's a lot easier to work with. Wait until the water is boiling, and then put the salt in. That will be the time when you flavor the pasta. Add a little pasta water to the pasta, and it will all bond together. So which one of you ladies is the best cooking? Me. Okay, so Rosaria, what are we making? Homemade spaghetti alla gitano. Okay. That's a specialty from Abruzzo, Italy. Terrific. This is four cups of flour, four eggs, salt, water, and you should need it for at least six minutes. And it has to rest for 20 minutes. Beautiful. You feel that? It's not sticky. Oh, yeah. It's just a beautiful dough. You're making it thinner and thinner as you go. Along. Yes, because I want my spaghetti to be thin. Thanks for the help. No problem. Are you having fun? I'm having a great time. What's the secret to your pasta? Using this instrument right here. And this is called the... La guitarra. La guitarra, like a guitar. Spaghetti a la guitarra. Yeah, exactly. This brings me closer to my ancestors, my mother's side. This is her tradition. I pass it through and I just pop it out. Look at that. It's just so fun. Wow, that looks beautiful. So what's in that sauce? Cherry tomatoes and porcini mushrooms. Wow. Let's take this out to your toughest critics. Well, let's go. I never had this type of pasta. It's really, really good. You taste the mushrooms, the sweetness of the tomatoes. Great job. Excellent. And there you have it, the secrets to perfect pasta from the nonas who know it all. Mangiare. So let's dig into that. Mm. What do you guys think? Delicious. Just like Grandma makes. Mm -hmm. Just like Grandma. It is just like Grandma makes. Really grandma made it. Mm. A very big grazie to the known as Inoteca Maria. Yeah. We'll be back for more of our Pasta Palooza show. Don't go away.